You want to do it on the lady one? Georgia Walburn Green playing with her mother, Amanda. Good girl. Georgia was born four and a half years ago with a rare disease. Her kidneys don't work properly, she can't see very well, and she can't speak. We met Georgia a year ago, when despite endless tests, doctors still couldn't figure out what was wrong. The family jumped at the chance to take part in a British government program to look for causes of rare diseases. The scientists are sequencing 100,000 genomes. High-tech machines use chemicals and electricity to reveal the genetic blueprint of our bodies. The string of information explains how the chemical building blocks are ordered and how they work together. a tiny mutation in one of her genes. It's a spontaneous mutation that didn't come from either parent, which means a sibling would most likely be healthy. If we'd known at the start um, what Georgia's problems were and, and why, we wouldn't have had those years of uncertainty, not knowing what potential problems Georgia was going to encounter and finding them out basically by her becoming quite poorly before we realised there was a problem with her kidneys or, you know, she spent the first couple of years not being able to see because we didn't know there was a problem with her eyes. The family also learned they're not alone. Two other children in the UK have been found to have the same genetic flaw. Doctors are hoping this half a billion dollar program to sequence 100,000 genomes will help solve other mysteries and figure out what it is that's causing these rare diseases. The technicians in the genetic lab are isolating DNA from blood samples to look at specific parts of the genetic blueprint. Eventually, 70,000 people will be tested. Doctors say more discoveries are coming, but for worried families and patients, a diagnosis sometimes isn't enough. For some families, getting this sort of information is clearly very important. For others, they are much less concerned with the whys than the what can be done. And of course, for those families, it's a much longer journey. Ultimately, doctors hope that one day diagnosing rare diseases will be routine. And from there, it will not be such a leap into the future to use gene editing and other techniques to treat patients like Georgia. Jessica Baldwin, Al Jazeera, London.